morning world welcome to monday 7th of march it's another day of trees for me today they all seem to have come out of the woodwork So I start in the morning with, well I started the morning with obviously sorting out my livestock first. Everything is fed and clean, um, but that was done yesterday. Um, they're still fed and they're still clean. So it was literally a once over to check everything was where it was supposed to be. Everything is happy. Um, I've got a bit of tree work to catch up with. Obviously after Storm Eunice and Frederick, we suffered quite a lot of damage, I mean, we're not as badly off as some parts of the country. There are places that come off a lot worse than we did. But um, as always happens after a storm, we'll get phone calls of people concerned about their trees. And quite often I'll go and look at stuff and say, it's perfectly okay. You know, it's, it's as sound in the ground this week as it was last month. But um, on the agenda this morning for me is, uh, a rear garden hedge line to go and look at in Thornbury, uh, a walnut tree that a customer wants to take down because it's just too big and it's overshadowing his house, and later on this afternoon a load of apparently very big roadside ash trees that the client's worried about. Uh, sounds like quite a big job so I've invited Simon, who does a lot of our winching and timber transport stuff, uh, to come with me on that one. And we're going to have a look at those trees later on this afternoon. Whether or not I take you with, with us or not, because obviously we'll be walking around with the client who may not want to be on camera, and that's fair enough. If they don't, then that's, that's their, it's their trees, it's their land, so their choice. Uh, but yeah, first thing is, I'm off to um, a hotel that I was supposed to be going to look at some trees work for last week. They sent me the report, um, but I can't print the map out. The map was sent as an attachment, and for some reason, my computer and printer will not have it. It will not print it out, so I can't do the quote without the map. Fingers crossed, they've printed a copy out for me, so I'm going to shoot in there and pick that up. Then it's going to be Stone, Albury, Thornbury. Get back to the other farm. I've just picked up a couple of buckets in the back. I want to pick up a bit of frog spawn over there as well to. Uh, put in our pond, which will hopefully help out with the wildlife area of our own. And then this afternoon, yes, big, big stuff to look at. So I'll take the camera with me, but like I say, whether I can video anything or not, I don't know yet. We'll see. We are entering one of Biscuit's favouritest ever places in the world because up here we have squirrels. You gotta stay in here, okay? It'll be ten minutes maximum. Okay, task one is complete. I have my plan map and they printed it in A3, so I don't need glasses to read it. 
very helpful. Okay, next job, uh, lower stone. We haven't actually seen one squirrel yet. I don't know who's more disappointed, me or the dog. We're still living in hope, in hope that we see a little grey tree rat. And yeah, go look at there. Was it there? Not in here. Not even one. Not even one. Oh, sorry, Biscuit. I got you all wound up for nothing. She knows where she is up here. She knows what she can usually see and have a good bark at, but not today. Sorry. Oh. Living hell, Biscuit. What have you been eating? She was a bit poorly last week, and it was obviously something internal because she was, it was not natural. Um, oh, maybe she got a bit left. I thought she got rid of it. She's been a lot better the last couple of days, but. I was so distracted by the aroma, I sailed straight past the customer's house. Luckily, I know where to turn around. So all is not yet lost. Don't do that again. It's not very warm out there. That was one of those jobs that started out as a, oh, that won't take long, hour, we'll have that done. And it's turned into a day and a half. Right, let's not run over the window cleaner's bucket. I wouldn't be very popular if I ran over the window cleaner's bucket. Oh, right, that's two down. Next stop, Albury. All right, we've been down the lanes for that. Oh, he's found it. Stanbrook Guides. That's all right. So I went up the window. Right, it's that one. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let them know. Thank you for letting me know, thank you. Okay, if I'm looking a little bit rosy red in the cheeks, it's because I'm mildly embarrassed. Um, those of you that have been with us for a while will remember that uh, late last year, we lost our webpage. Our providers failed to renew our domain name. Uh, and the first I'd heard about it was a customer ringing up saying, do you know that um, your web page is now a porn site? Which I laughed, I couldn't believe him, I said, you're having a laugh, don't talk rot. Well, it turned out that it was true. Um, because our domain name hadn't been renewed, it had been basically put back on open market, it had been snapped up by uh, mature Thai women and this page had images and stuff I think basically trying to sell you a wife or a girlfriend with no clothes on there was nothing I could do we lost the page I couldn't get it back it was gone so all the advertising that we'd had for years and years with our old um, web address um, is still currently, if, you, if you've got it, directing you to this this page. Uh, so we do now have a new domain, new um, web page, um, and new um, email address and stuff like that, but we told the local magazines that we do 
uh, advertise through to change it and they did they said they would do that no problem the problem is in this book for this town they put the new um, web address page in but they also kept the old one so bless him the customer just said to me said you do know he said that when I um, went to Google you uh, or find you on a, 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 a little book he said um, I don't think um, I don't think that's what you're selling and that was the first I knew about that the fact that they the local local little book I'm not saying which one it is I'm not branching out into another business trying to sell you a mature Taiwanese wife okay that's that's not what I do so if you live in the Thornbury area and you go into the book and you look up the wrong address it's not going to take you to us and I can only apologize um, I can't I can't do anything about it the books have gone everybody's got it I can't just go around knocking on every door saying please can I have your your little green book back please because um, there's thousands of them <laughs> thousands of them nothing I can do obviously I'm going to ring the company and say look you've made a boo-boo and you've embarrassed me a bit and I'll see if they're going to do something for me to whatever else I've got to make sure that this isn't repeated again next year but uh, yeah I mean we had, we, we had a laugh I've had a laugh with the customer about it because what else can I do shouting and screaming and bawling is not going to undo what's been done so and this is all because the folks that look after our domain name didn't renew it because they reckon I haven't paid for it even though I've got record of the payment and the payment cleared and everything that's all I've got it all It's not really the kind of reputation, after 33 years of doing tree work, not really the kind of reputation I want to have as, you know, don't, 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 you stupid bird. Pigeon playing chicken, and he very nearly lost. Yeah, I w there's nothing I can do. Well, that's all my morning tree work job's done. Little job for me now. What the hell are these guys? Right. The biggest problem I can see is the holes in my boots. Bees are busy. Right. Let's see if we can harvest a bit of that as well. Actually, that was better than the first one. well still plenty left in there right 
mission accomplished. safe than wet in it. Come on. Here you go. Good girl. Was that a fail? Did you fail then? Oh, and I caught it on camera. Never mind. Right, frog spawn collected. Oh, it's cold in there. Seven degrees. So it's not really, really cold, but it's Cold for the end. Okay. Okay. Gently but rapidly back to uh, back to base. Um, I want to get this frog spawn into our pond ASAP, but I will call into my dad's on the way. Have a quick cup of his cup of coffee first, just to warm my hands up. We're home. No, 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 over there. Time to deliver some frog spawn. Well, that's the trailer gone. Amazing what YouTube can do. I didn't need the trailer anymore. Nice young man came in and offered me a sensible price for it. He's gone home with it. Works for me. Play your ring, pups. Hey, yeah, you, yeah. So I'm just wandering down towards our little wildlife area of the pond with my buckets. And I noticed there's actually some movement in there. There's actually already hatched tadpoles in that one. Don't know if you can see them or not. Maybe you'll see them better when we get down there. I'll let them go. Let's get, come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. See the fox? Two very healthy looking foxes. Not sure what they're doing in here. Uh, they're really just enjoying the sunshine on that log where there's the dog. Uh, anyway, they got a bit disturbed. Okay, one pond. I think what I'm going to do actually for a minute is just put these containers in the water just let the temperatures equalize a little bit okay oh, that was 10 minutes worth was that oh, a water beetle there's a water beetle in there eating that hoverfly i'm pretty sure i'm going to lose quite a lot of our tadpoles to water beetles but that is that's just the chance they're gonna have to take so right down in there I reckon is gonna be the place where's the edge of my lid there it is all right that's gonna stir it up a little bit but this was the bucket I actually saw some swimming around in there he is see little tab pole in there Okay, just gently on the edge there. Anything alive in there? Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. So, already baby tadpoles swimming around in there. I don't know if you caught that or not. But, right. One down, one to go. I reckon I'm going to put the second bucket in there. Hopefully it doesn't all roll out into the middle. Okay, so these look pretty close to hatching as well. Okay, that's what I want. I want it caught in that weed like that, just to stop it from sinking. All right, we'll try that again. Uh, maybe in that grass over there. Bit in there, that's going to come out in one lump, isn't it? Yeah, oh well. Right, okay, there's a bit left in there. Oh, look. I didn't expect to see that. Hang on. Looky, looky. That was laid in this pond. We've actually got, obviously some of the uh, tadpoles that I bought in last year, or a, a frog, because uh, a, a few of you have said that um, they don't breed for the first year. Someone, has found their way in here and actually laid the eggs themselves. Brilliant. I saw something moving in there. That's better. We want it black side up, not white side up. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely something moving in the middle of there. Right, well, we'll come back down in a few days' time and we'll see what happens. But hopefully, in a couple of days, we'll have lots and lots of little tiny tadpoles, including some that were actually laid here. I'm pleased about that. Right, actually, I want to give them a bit of protection. So... Uh, Maybe I can protect both of them a bit. This is literally just to try and stop anything from wading in here and taking them. Just a bit of protection. Okay, that's that. All I can really do now is leave them to Mother Nature. She will do with them now as she pleases. Come on, you. It's nice to see the pruners out in flare again. Not quite as dense as what we had last year. This thing was just a big ball of white last year. This little fella is making progress though. 
the springs come in. <laughs> Not before time. Right. Don't tap the beehives. Don't tap the beehives. So it just come down my drive and I thought, what was that security light on? And then almost instantaneously I realised there's a good reason why the security light's on and it's got everything to do with that blooming ivy. It snuck up on me. So, Mr. Ivy has got to come down. That's better. Right. Don't worry, I've got Mr. Invisible got his foot on the bottom of the ladder. That's the actual offending bit there. But while we're at it, we'll have that down as well. Thank you. That's got it. I reckon I reckon that'll last a year. Right, you can turn off now. Don't touch the bees. All these hives are actually active, although not actually seen much activity. There's one. Hello Mr. Bee. He's dead. Okay. What about you? You alive? No, you're dead too. Okay. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Hey. Replay it. Which one's mine? Uh, free for all. Free for all? Free for all. So yeah. I can have that one? You can have that one. Can I have that one? Yes. How about that one? Yes. And that one? Yes. And that one? Yes. How about that one? You can have that one as well. I can have all of them. You can have all of them. Now I just bite Abby. Not if she doesn't know they're here. So these are, these are, that's white chocolate, is it? Yes, they're blondies. What's so a blondie? The white chocolate brownie. They're oh. called blondies. Okay. I didn't come up with the name. Blondies. Someone else did. We could call them Deborah's then. And then Deborah Harry's. I wouldn't mind getting my teeth into her when I was younger as well. They were spared out of a... Um, so what's that, what's in that? Tiffin, so it's digestive biscuit yeah. and salt up like raisins. Oh. It's like a, it's like a flapjack but replace the um, marshmallows with raisins. I might and be able to force a little bit of that. It was already had a bit. Me. Oh, okay. Well, you made it. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah. I, I do like a chocolate. Oh, I've got a cup of tea as well. Let's go and ask a potato and slash cake. So I'm gonna have a piece of that. It's quite hard. It is chocolate. Would you like me to cut you a piece of it better? No. It's quite nice. 
you can make it like the care home. So it's a more of a well where? I can't see through your camera. <laughs> That's it. Mm. I can't do doing quite a bit. I like that. I, I, it's very Moorish. Mm. Might just take that through to my office. <laughs> Bye. Bye.